Hello everyone and welcome to this lecture on Bittrex. Bittrex is a multi-cryptocurrency exchange where you can exchange uh, Bitcoin to Dash to Steam to Litecoin to Ethereum or vice versa. You can change Dash into Bitcoin, Ether into Bitcoin, Litecoin into Bitcoin. Um, it depends on what trading pairs they have available. So today we are going to be doing a demonstration on a hands-on tutorial for exchanging Bitcoin into Dash. Let's get started by clicking login if you already have an account. Um, if you don't have an account, it is fairly easy. Just click sign up and you can create an account. So I'm going to be blurring out my email for this step. All right, everyone, now that I'm logged in, I actually have to enter my two-factor authentication. Um, I believe they are using Google Authenticator. Um, this just lets them know that you are who you say you are because you have to have the Authenticator app set up on your phone. And once you are put that in, you can log in. Uh, it is a bonus to have a two-step authenticator because you can have um, increased daily withdrawals of up to three Bitcoin. I believe if you don't have the authenticator uh, set up or you do ba basic KYC, I think the basic is either 0.25 Bitcoin or 0 0.025 Bitcoin daily, which is very minuscule. But actually, let's check out the basic. So I'm gonna blur out this information, um, except my full name, because everybody knows who I am already. But um, you just have to provide your uh, address and your date of birth just for basic KYC. And then I did phone verification. And then enhanced verification is, I believe, taking a selfie. Uh, yeah, okay, st uh, start with basic. Uh, enhanced verification is a selfie and this will allow you up to 100 Bitcoin daily uh, what is that uh, Bitcoin's four thousand dollars now so four hundred thousand dollars a day withdrawal uh, if you got that kind of money um, Wow but okay let's continue let's stay on topic so uh, all you have to do to go from exchanging dash or Bitcoin to dash Click markets right here in the top left. I'm gonna zoom in right there. And then you can search for the market you're looking for. I want dash, accept dash. So here, once you get on to the dash market, you can see the last ask price was 0 0.081 Bitcoin for one dash. And then the Bitcoin volume is about 452 Bitcoin worth of Dash have been traded so far. And then the bid price is 0 0.081 Bitcoin for one Dash. And then the ask is 0 0.081. So if you are new to the concepts of bid and asks, the bids are the people wanting to buy Dash with Bitcoin. And the ask are the people that are selling Dash and wanting to receive Bitcoin. So, as you can see, I don't have an available balance right now. But in order to have some Bitcoin that you want to sell, all you have to do is go up to Wallets. And then Bitcoin is typically the top one. But uh, you can also do hide zero balances. And I have... 92 satoshis which is like one hundredth of a penny if not smaller so all you have to do in order to add Bitcoin to your wallet is just click this little plus sign it'll generate an acknowledge agreement and provide you a custom Bitcoin address or you if you have Bitcoin on your phone you can actually scan the QR code to send Bitcoin so I'm just going to open up my Exodus wallet real quick. We're going to click send, paste the address that I, we just copied. Just verify the first five, 12 HTY, 12 HTY, last four, GZRN, 
GZRN. Let's just swap this. Let's just buy 25 bucks worth of Dash today. Now what needs to be done is click send. And now click send again to verify. Now OK. Now all we have to do is wait for the Bitcoin blockchain, which is very slow. And Bittrex requires six confirmations. So with that being said, I'm going to come back once we complete the six confirmations needed. All right, everyone, we are back. We have received our six Bitcoin confirmations. As you can see, we have $24.43 USD worth of Bitcoin. And today what we're going to actually do is break down a buy order on Bittrex in order to buy some Dash. So if you click markets at the top like before, Dash should already be in there in the search bar. So we already covered the last volume bid ask price. So let's go over to the trading. There is buy Dash or sell Dash. We'll be breaking down the units bid type and total in a moment. So if you scroll down a little bit more, you can see the order book. On the left is the bids or the buy and then ask on the right or the sell. As you can see, there is a spread between the ask price and the buy price. So it seems like orders are going through. So it's about what? Uh, 20,000 Satoshis, give or take. So um, that's just the difference between the buy and sell orders. If you scroll down a little bit more, you have open orders. And this is where if you don't buy whatever the person is selling at, that's where your order will show up and it will be flagged by the little star. So. We have my market history of buying and selling some Dash. And then my order, hist order history. So let's scroll back up to the top. So what we have is max. If you click max, this will show the maximum amount of Dash that I can buy for a given price. However, I haven't stated an amount of BTC that I'm willing to pay the Dash for. So let's say the ask price right now is 0.082 Bitcoin, and I'm willing to pay 0.08 Bitcoin. So for the maximum amount of Dash that I can receive using the amount of Bitcoin I have available, if I was asking for 0.08 Bitcoin, the maximum amount I could receive is 0.07 at that market rate. However, there's also an option for doing the breakdown for price. You can say the last, the bid, and the ask. Last is the last price someone paid for Dash, which was 0.081999 Bitcoin. Or if you'd break that down again, you can say the ask, which will be lower than that actually. So with that being said, today we are actually just gonna buy at the ask price. Some might say that's a little bit silly of me, but we're gonna do that today. But please note, if you wanna input your own price, you can do so. However, if you're asking far below the ask price maximum or minimum, I should say, and you're ask price shows up in the bid order, your bid might be lower than the person near the top. So it might take some time to fill up, but you never really know. And someone is actually looking for 62 dash to buy. Way to go. So with that being said, we're going to actually just place our order for the ask price. We're going to click maximum again, and then let's click buy. And this is just your limit buy order that pops up a little disclaimer, and then click confirm. Uh, dash by placed in the top right, dash by filled. So uh, as you can see, there is 7E-8BTC. That's probably 
uh, 770 Satoshis available in my wallet, which is unfortunate that I didn't complete the whole buy order, but oh well, you can scroll down a little bit and you can see my order history. Today is September 19th, 2017. And my bid slash ask price was 0 0.082 Bitcoin per dash. And my units fulfilled was 0 0.075 dash. All right, now we can scroll up to the top and click wallets. As you can see back in the wallets, I have hide zero balances checked. And you can see my dash and my Bitcoin wallets are still active. Oh, and I only, I said 70 Satoshis. I actually have seven Satoshis. But now what we want to do is you can either withdraw your dash. I'm going to open up my dash QT wallet. See my 2.81 dash that I have available. Let's open my receiving addresses. I have, you can see all my receiving addresses. So I have from Bittrex, I'm going to copy this address, paste it, confirm it just by double checking XIQZ, XIQZ, and then the last four, 198P, 198P, we're good to go. So you can enter an, ex an amount of Dash you're wanting to withdraw. Currently we have 0 0.07 five dash available so I could do 0 0.02 dash I want to withdraw however keep in mind there is the transaction fee of 0 0.002 dash so please bear that in mind and then we have withdrawal which is the amount of dash we'll receive in our wallet but there's also this awesome feature double the double arrow if you click that it'll max out the amount of dash that you have available to withdraw. But still, no matter what, the transaction fee will be 0 0.002 dash. So lastly, all we need to do is click withdrawal because we confirmed it already. And because I have two factor authentication, so I need to open up my authenticator app and then type in the little code. And Please keep this in mind too. The authenticator code will be different every single time. If you've never used it, I would highly encourage you to try it out, but everyone has their own opinion on it. So let's go back to the Dash wallet and hopefully we'll be seeing some transaction showing up soon for 0 0.07 Dash. Anyways, I don't want to bore everyone with sitting around for this. Thank you everyone for taking the time to watch this. If you're watching this on YouTube, I would appreciate a subscribe and please like, comment, and share. Thank you, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Take care.